Hello, I'm Chris Parkin, and this is the Accuracy International ATX 6.5 Creedmoor. Welcome to All for Shooters. The cheek piece is adjustable for ideal scope alignment both laterally and vertically. It's all Allen key adjustable so it locks well in position. It's a slender profile so it fits under your cheekbone and it's smooth so it slides easily under your cheeks so it doesn't jar your head at all under recoil. The recoil pad is adjustable vertically and rotationally. There's a thumb screw on the side and you can just undo that and put it where you want it. I'm going to twist it slightly as that's just my preference and it's quite high up. Length of pull is also adjustable. There are Allen key sockets on the side. I found it impossible to jam the bolt at any operation speed and it also carries full length flutes to make sure dirt or debris won't cause a problem. The ease of operation on the bolt shaft minimises the disturbance to the rifle's position when you're aiming. The trigger is a two-stage unit, it is absolutely crisp and super reliable, it's adjustable too. This is the match unit supplied now on this ATX as opposed to the standard unit on the AT or the AX systems. It is lighter in weight and it is a delight to use for competition shooting. The grip is an AR15 type unit, so reach to trigger is actually quite short. You can put an adjustable thumb rest on the other side. Depending on what rear bag you're using, there is an underside support here which you can put your bag under or you can use a monopod on. You'll probably see from the first video that my wrist is a little bit cocked out because of the rear bag underneath that I happen to be using today, but there's actually a lot of space there to put your wrist in so you can get more assured trigger positioning. Bolt operation is super slick, 60 degree lift and the handle is easy to grasp and use. The safety catch is forward for fire, middle for safe with bolt operation or rearmost with the bolt fully locked and safe. This pin on the back acts as a cocked action indicator. It's both visible and tactile. The heavy barrel is screw cut 5 8 by 24 for a sound moderator or muzzle brake. Here you can see the spanner flats used to unscrew the barrel from the action. It's a standard screw cut tenon that threads into the action and the action is pressure bearing. There's also a lock screw on the side of the action. I've been using the rifle with a Wildcat Evolution sound moderator. This has given me great sound reduction. Recoil reduction isn't really an issue because it's only a 6.5 Creedmoor and a heavy rifle so there's very little recoil at all. The crown itself is slightly recessed to protect it from any external damage factors. The rifle is a cut rifle barrel, it's a four groove unit and it's notably easy to clean after shooting. The wheel in the recoil pad allows you to unlock it and you can twist it wherever you like and also move it up and down to suit your needs. AR15 style grip is rubberized and it gives you great tactile perception on it. There's a slight ridge at the bottom to keep your fingers in place. Reach to trigger is actually quite good at around 70 millimeters from the throat itself. Feeding is smooth, ejection is purposeful, there are no problems with that. So, what are the key features and details about the ATX? Well, it's currently available in 6.5 Creedmoor and it's been designed specifically by Accurus International for PRS type competition. It's got a full aluminium chassis and it's a lightweight, narrow, slender forend to keep it as stiff as possible but also make it suitable for barricades and there's also a barricade stop at the front here. On the side of the action there's an allen key socket. If you loosen the pinch bolt in there you can actually just screw the barrels out and you can have other barrels chambered in alternate calibers obviously appropriate to the bolt length and also the bolt face diameter but you can change the barrels and you get excellent return to zero. The allen key for doing the job is actually stored in the cheek piece because it's the same allen key that adjusts the length of pull, the cheek piece height and also the cheek piece lateral positioning. The bolt is a six lug unit so it gives you 60 degree lift and it's fluted to clear any debris from it. The 20 MOA Picatinny rail is machined as part of the action. On the left side of the action you can also see the bolt release catch there as well. 
the magazine loads from the top, but you can also clip additional rounds in from the ejection port onto the top of the follower as well. And if you do feed a single round onto the top of the follower in an emergency backup shot, the bolt will close cleanly and chamber the round. There's masses of key slot for additional accessories and to change the balance of the rifle, which is a very popular PRS competition. And there's also a full length Arca Swiss rail, which meets up with the barricade stop here. That's great shooting from tripods. The cheek piece is slender and it fits under your cheekbone without displacing your jaw and there's also plenty of space underneath here for your jaw to fit into. In the shooting position there's plenty of space for your hand to fit on the grip without obstructing your wrist and there's also ease of access if you're using a supporting bag or a monopod for your other off gun hand. Anchors are shown here for a sling on the butt, there are also quick release studs on the stock on the sides here. You can actually have this as a folding rifle if you want. Key slot on the front allows you to add the sling however you want to and of course it also enables multiple types of bipod mounting system. Chances are to remove the bolt you will need to take the cheek piece out, same for cleaning the rifle. So once you do that the left side bolt release catch allows you to see the bolt here. You can see the six lugs on it and it's also a push feed bolt face. This is a 0.473 of an inch bolt face which is suitable for obviously 308, 65 Creedmoor, 6mm Creedmoor etc. AI's bolt design is one of the best in the business because it's got a steel arm here with the ball on the end and the ball fits straight into the meat of your hand and the steel arm doesn't obstruct your fingertips from getting a good grip on it. It allows you to operate it very quickly with minimal disturbance to the rifle's point of aim. Cool options on the rifle for the full Cerakote finish are sand like this one, or you can have red, blue, flat dark earth or black. Well I hope you've enjoyed that review. I think you can see from the targets on camera that this rifle is very accurate and precise. It took about 100 rounds to wear the barrel in fully to get the best accuracy and precision out of it, but since that time it's been very consistent shooting at longer distances on steel. I think Accuracy International have met all their requirements for a fully competitive PRS rifle in the ATX and I've very much enjoyed using it. I hope you've enjoyed watching that review. Please like, subscribe, comment and don't forget to click the notification bell so you can keep track of the regular uploads. Thanks for watching, bye for now.